Hello and you are very welcome to this week's video which is a much requested review of this little beauty. This is the Totem T-Lock Clutch Bag and today I'm going to talk about all of the pros and the cons that I have found over the last couple of months while I have been wearing this bag. Now I have worn it a lot. Um, I have four main bags in my collection that I rotate on a really regular basis. So I have, and, and also when I got this one, I was absolutely obsessed with it. So I wore it a lot, particularly in the first couple of weeks, and I continue to wear it regularly. For example, I wore it on a night out last night, um, dinner with friends, and I just wore it as a crossbody actually, but more on that in a while. So let's get into it. I will talk about the pros first and then the cons. The first pro is the design, and there is really a lot I can say on this. First of all, in my opinion, this is a really unique design. Um, I think if you're familiar with Totem and familiar with their bags, you'll be able to spot this one at 100 yards. It is very, very recognizable because it is unique. And I personally really value uniqueness in design. There are a couple of other things I want to mention when it comes to the design of this bag. And I will be scattering close-ups throughout this video so you can see what I'm talking about a little bit more easily. Uh, the first thing is this bag has feet. So four little feet on the bottom, as you can see here. And that, of course, protects the bag whenever I put it down. And uh, in fact, I can see that there's been no scratching or any damage on the bottom of the bag whatsoever. The bag itself is beautifully made. The stitching is really evenly and well done. And it has some really nice hardware, this buckle along the side, and of course that beautiful and very recognizable T clasp on the outside. Now, because my name is Trish, I also appreciate the fact that it is a T lock, T for totem, T for Trish. It's just a personal tiny little thing that I also enjoy about this bag. Now, one important thing to note about this bag and this bag's design is that this is the smaller version. This comes in a large version and a small version, the clutch version. I got the clutch version. The large version has a top handle strap while the clutch version does not. This is the shortest the handle can adjust to in this clutch version. So you can see it definitely does not act like a top handle. And if you go for the clutch version, you're not going to get that really pleasing and um, kind of dent. I don't know how you describe it. I'll, I'll put up a picture. But essentially, when you use the top handle on the larger version of this bag, it creates a really nice kind of um, dent or kind of half moon shape along the top of the bag, which I find really pleasing. Um, I didn't go for the larger version because I think it's too large against my body type. I think I'd look a bit swamped trying to wear it, to be honest. So I went to the clutch version and I'm so glad I did. However, it is just something to keep in mind that the design of the large version versus the clutch version is quite unique and distinctive to each bag. You're not going to get the exact same design effect um, as each other. There is a difference between the design of the clutch and the design of the large version. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so I just did an experiment. I twisted the strap inside the bag and closed the top flap on the strap. And that creates this look, okay? So you can see that the bag still stays very straight across the top. It doesn't have that kind of half moon, um, almost collapsed effect that the larger version has. Um, you can wear it, um, see, <laughs> you can wear it, you know, with the top handle, but just be aware that as soon as you open the bag, the strap is going to come out. But it is possible to get at least a top handle effect with this versatile strap, if you so wish. Continuing on the subject of design, I love how versatile this bag is. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag. Now I have put it on the last hole here. There are five holes on the strap. So it is adjustable and it is versatile. Because of that adjustability, it can be worn as a crossbody as well. And that would be the most common way that I would wear this bag as a crossbody. That's just personal preference. Um, I really like to have my hands free. So I really appreciate the fact that this bag has that versatility in its design. 
Now, there is a con in relation to the strap, but I'll talk about that a little bit later on. For now, all I would like to say is that it is adjustable, which is important. The buckle is beautiful, um, which is also important. Um, it's also minimal. I really appreciate that kind of minimal buckle design. And the other thing I really appreciate is that the strap is quite thick, which means that it's really comfortable when you wear it. Well, I need to lengthen it now to wear a crossbody. But when you, I'll just adjust it here actually. I'll just fast forward this bit in the video. Let's adjust it to the last. I'm just going to adjust it to the last hole in the strap. So you can see the length when it's on the last hole. Okay, so anyway, like I was saying, the strap is very thick, which means that when you wear it across the shoulder, cross body like this, it's very, very comfortable. The strap does not dig into my shoulder at all. And I found that to be the case even when I'm wearing this bag for hours. So I can definitely attest to the bag's comfort. And also because of the size, um, Actually, that's another design feature that I should talk about separately, but I really do appreciate the size. Um, it's one thing that contributes to its versatility. And also as a petite, I find this size to be very flattering on my particular body type and shape. Um, it doesn't overwhelm me at all. And it's very, very wearable. You know, I nearly forget that I'm wearing this. It just sits nice and close to my body and is very comfortable. The size also means that it can be worn as a clutch. I am going to have to demonstrate that a little bit later in the video because one of the cons, and I'm skipping a little bit ahead here, but one of the cons is to do with the hardware on the inside of the bag. I'll get to that in a moment. But you can wear this bag as a clutch. It is a really nice clutch size. And because it's also designed as both a shoulder bag and a crossbody bag, there's actually a lot of room within the bag itself. I can fit a lot into this bag. Typically, I would fit my wallet, obviously, my phone, my keys. What else do I normally take with me? Some lip gloss, um, lipstick, maybe a small perfume, but to be honest with you, I'm always a little bit worried about perfume in a bag that it would spill. <laughs> so I don't tend to carry perfume. Um, I generally carry very, very little with me. I think it's because of my small bag habit. I prefer to carry small bags, always have done and I don't like to carry a lot around with me. I will show you in the cutaways just how much fits. Okay, so the Design Pro has been a very long one, <laughs> but just to recap, I think within the design category, the pros are the fact that, that it has a unique and beautiful design. It has feet, which helps to protect the bottom of the bag. Um, it's actually quite spacious for a small bag, so I find the size very, very versatile and practical can fit quite a lot while still being small enough to use as a clutch. Continuing with design, the craftsmanship and the quality of the stitching and the leather is all very, very good. The strap is adjustable and quite thick, which makes it very, very comfortable to wear crossbody, even for extended periods of time. So all in all, I really love the design of this bag, as you can tell. Now that brings me on to my second pro, which is the price. This bag retails for 790 euro or around 960 US dollars from what I've seen on various websites. So it's still pricey, but for a high quality designer bag, it is actually still really well priced compared to other bags on the market. It's still expensive, but if you are looking to add a designer, more high-end bag to your wardrobe and to your collection, this is a more affordable option. Okay, so I've talked about the pros and now let's talk about the cons. I'm just going to take off the bag. So I will show you what I'm talking about as I go along. First off, I said that this strap was adjustable. And that's true, like I said, there are five holes uh, that you can use to adjust the length of the strap, very handy. However, there's also a sleeper on the strap and that sleeper is stitched into position. And what that means is when you put the buckle onto the last hole on the strap, the strap itself doesn't actually reach the sleeper and you cannot pull the sleeper up to surround the strap. So it's just a small irritation. I find the strap does stay in place, flush against the rest of the strap. So 
It's not really a big deal, but I think the last thing you want is for the end of your strap to curl outwards, especially if, like me, you like to wear it on that last hole regularly so that you can wear it as a crossbody. Another con that I regret having to report is that there is some fading of the um, branding inside the flap. Now, I am not hard on my bags at all. Um, and this branding is inside the flap. So for me, it is extremely surprising that this is fading. Um, and I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed to see it. Um, it would suggest that the embossing wasn't very well done and that the material they used was applied in a very thin layer. So that's a definite con for me. And um, I am very disappointed in that, I have to say. It's probably my biggest disappointment in this bag. The third con is that there is scratching on the outside of the T-lock hardware at the front. Now, again, I'm not hard on my bags and I've actually gone out of my way to make sure that as I'm wearing this bag crossbody that I do not bump against things. So I'm really, really cognizant of not letting the bag bump or scrape against anything. In fact, I would often just cover um, the hardware like this. So the fact that this has gotten scratched is really annoying. <laughs> and I don't know whether to blame myself for the bag. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty annoyed about that actually. Um, it really, really is a shame because the rest of the hardware on the T-lock and on the buckle and on the inside D-rings, that all remains really perfect. The fourth con is the interior. <laughs> so the interior is beautiful, all right? It's a beige micro suede, really soft to the touch and very luxurious, but impractical. I am always terrified that I'm going to mark it or get it dirty. Um, I'm afraid to carry my lip glasses. Yesterday, um, I brought lip glasses to the dinner with me and I put them inside my sunglasses case <laughs> just to protect the inside of the bag. And, you know, it's a small thing, but it kind of annoys me that I have to think about that. So yes, that would be another con to this bag. The final con is that the D-rings within the bag are actually really tricky to access. It looks lovely when the bag is closed, but when trying to unclip them to make the bag into a clutch bag, I find that really difficult. And to be honest with you, to use the bag as a clutch, it is necessary to unclip the strap because just, while well, you can just stuff the strap into the bag, it's obviously really annoying um, when the strap is mixed in with all of the contents within the bag. Again, it's kind of a nitpicky thing, but it bothers me. So you can see that, look, I can just stuff the strap in and you know, it doesn't affect the look of the bag. Um, it's still really sleek and a good clutch, but I just find it's cleaner when I can remove the strap whenever I want to use it as a clutch. And it is difficult to do so because of the position, the internal positioning of those D-rings. So where does this leave us? As you can see, I have quite a number of cons and only two pros, but I think the pros are really important fundamental characteristics. So the price of the bag is really fair, really competitive, and I think you get good bang for your buck. And the design of the bag is really, really excellent. Apart from the positioning of the sleeper, I really can't fault it. I love absolutely everything else about the design of this bag. And for me, that pro alone outweighs all of the cons that I just mentioned. So my verdict is that this is a beautiful, high quality, extremely practical and versatile bag that I am really, really happy to have in my closet. There is a reason I've been wearing this so often since I got it last November. So yes, I highly recommend this bag actually, and I will leave a link to it down in the description box for you as well if you want to have a look. Um, I'll leave links for people viewing from the US and I'll leave a link for people viewing from the UK as well um, if that's more convenient for you. Check out my unboxing video where I do style this with some other outfits as well and I talk about this bag in more detail. I'll leave it linked in the description box and up here if you're interested in having a look. 
do leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'd be really pleased to have you with us. Let me know in the comments, was this review useful for you? Have you been thinking about adding this bag to your wardrobe? And if so, why? I'd be really, really interested to hear your thoughts on it as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.